everyone, welcome to Ewing Country. I'm with brother Jake here, about to jump in. Nice glassy, just gonna be going for reefies today. I don't know, maybe a little jungra or something. We've got a lighter in the car, so if we get a quick feed, maybe we'll cook something up on the beach, but we'll see how we go. Yep. Jake hadn't hunted Junga before, so this dive ended up being a great lesson on how to find and dispatch them. Time to unload the gun so I can let go and not worry about it going off. It's so shallow. <laughs> Found our first Junga of the day. This one had a deep den, so I cleared out some of the rocks and shells. So you want to get in behind, you're trying to make it come to you, because they're so strong, if I just go grab it, it won't, I won't be able to get it out. I like to get the knife and go around behind it into the burrow. Tickle it on the back of it, it should start coming towards you. Once it gets pretty much fully out of the cave, then you grab one here and then you're trying to bite. If you want to do the bite between the eyes, imagine those are the eyeballs and you're going dang between the eyes, you're trying to squish the brain and you'll, you'll feel a few crunches. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and just keep crunching, it'll start to loosen and turn white, and that's when you know you're getting it. So yeah, shells go it away, and the crevices, oh, I'll just have a quick little look. Thanks mate. Sorry about that. That'll be a good, good feed of maybe salt and pepper octopus. <laughs> This one ended up as spicy Korean stir fry. See him? There's not many ledges around, so I figured, you know, there's going to be a Junga around, and there's one just down here, and another further where I dropped my gun. We'll spread it out, so we'll get one of these and we'll go and have a look at that other spot. I'm too buoyant, <laughs> I couldn't get a hold. Because this spot was mostly seagrass flats, the shells and small cave openings that usually signify an octopus den really stuck out. They've got a really good burrow there, it's really deep. I reckon let's go look at the other one that I saw, see if it's easier to get out. This one's got a really good burrow too, I think. Oh really? I reckon that's probably pretty deep. <laughs> And there's another Junga in there, yeah. <laughs> they love these vertical cracks, I've noticed. Money, you have another crack. You have another crack with this one. Yeah, you're getting it. Yeah, you see he's slowing down, turning white now. Yep. Yeah. But see, he's going limp. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's done. Nicely done. Old school first Junga. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't let you go. Yeah. It is pretty full on, hey? Way more hands on than shooting and ickying a fish. Yeah, well, that's what I think. So I put a lot of time into shooting accurately. Yeah. So that it actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Missed one. <laughs> Shooting a fish in 40 centimetres of water would just be such a claim. We went a bit further out to look for fish, but we could only see a metre in some areas. On our way in, I spotted our 12th octopus just out on the sand flats. Check out this crab it had just caught. <laughs> yeah, so we've seen 11 or 12 at this point, so I decided to take out the junga. This guy's probably only like two years old, it's super fast growing and sustainable. Packing up the catch, super successful dive. We ended up seeing about 12 Junga by the time we came in, so we grabbed um, three in total. So 
Yeah, good feed. Jake's first one. Smashed it. Yeah. Managed to gut shot a nice little ladder, so perfect pan, pan size. Delicious. Baked whole with garlic, ginger, butter, a bit of lemon and salt and pepper. Thanks for coming along with us. Have a good one. We'll catch you next time. Phew.